So this is the second video in just a little three part series and it's back in 2019 when I was doing my multi-engine instrument rating in the Diamond DA42 from Aero Flight Training at Coventry. If you missed the first video we departed Aero's Coventry IFR routing towards Daventry in the airways over to Gloucester before doing an RNAV approach to runway 27. We then fly a low approach and this is where this next video starts. The aim of this lesson was to practice some NDB holds along with a procedural ILS DME approach and a procedural NDB DME approach both to runway 27. At this point it's probably my fourth trip in the DA42. I just completed 15 hours flight training in Aeros's Alsim DA42 simulator, which is actually amazing to fly. It's extremely similar to the real aircraft. All the buttons and switches are exactly the same. It's fair to say that the weather on the day was definitely deteriorating throughout. You see here on the METARs that the weather is getting worse and worse throughout the day with decreasing visibility, decreasing cloud base and also increasing wind. That's due to the fact that there is a cold front and low pressure system moving in from the west. And you see through the video the pressure setting is actually decreasing and the wind is actually increasing to around just over 50 knots at 3,000 feet. This actually provided though really good training. It meant you had to be very accurate with your calculations in regards to drift. And one of the holes goes pretty wrong so watch out for that as I miscalculate it slightly. And I found this trip really really good just to be able to see when things go wrong, how to correct them. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. Make sure you subscribe if you are new and leave a comment below telling me your thoughts. Thanks a lot, and I'll speak to you soon. Here we go, claps up. Sound feet landing light, tax light coming off. Go on, Romeo approved. Good to land at X ray wind 2107. Just land at X ray, go on, Romeo. Gulf Alpha Procedural Service, report reaching out to 3000 feet. Time ready to return to the Gulf Sierra Tango. Procedural Service, report reaching out to 3000 feet on Wilco, Gulf Sierra Alpha. Gulf Sierra Alpha, new QNH 994 hectopascals. QNH 994 hectopascals, Gulf Sierra Alpha. That's 283, any ice? Nope, no ice. Golf Alpha, altitude 3000 feet. Golf Alpha, are you ready to return to the Golf Sierra Tango? AFM, Golf Alpha. Golf Alpha, go to the Golf Sierra Tango, altitude 3000 feet, no good expected. Alice approach from runway 27, report entering the Golf Sierra Tango hold. Go to Golf Alpha, uh, hold altitude 3000 feet, and we'll go Golf Alpha. Okay, so right turn. With the current window, I'll continue my turn round yep. uh, to re intercept to the south. Jump with it blown north. Really have. Is that a bit too much to come round to the no, south? That's so. fine, yeah. About the idea. It's a left hand hole, so we're going bound to beacon. It's going to be a left turn outbound. Um, uh, put 240 with today's wind. Stop 
starting to come back in there now. Yep. I'd start my turn just before it reaches 0.2, so start the turn now. It's going to be a left turn round to 240 degrees. Uh, so my new 90 is going to be uh, plus 30 on there. So we'll start the timer now on we're a beam. And ground speed 73, so we're going to go outbound for 1 minute uh, 25 seconds. Okay. And then the new gate's going to be at 270 uh, two degrees. I think with my wind heading, it might have been slightly too... Uh, slightly too greater. Because it looks like it might end up getting to the gate. Okay, I know, oh, I might be right. Short circuit. Go back, Romeo, approved. Uh, so we're going to go on the ILS DME approach uh, next time, runway uh, 27, out, uh, final approach course is 265, which is set, major altitude is 2,000 feet, so we're outbound 3,000 feet when we're cleared, uh, outbound uh, procedure we descend down to 2,300 feet, then when we go outbound uh, the turn at D8 we descend down to 2,000 feet. And that's 1 minute 30 there, but I still think we're a little bit uh, tight, possibly. But we push wide, but we'll go with it, so we'll start our left turn now. Outbound course is 096, and we've got a wind from the south, so we might continue that turn round slightly to the right, uh, with the drift will get to come round. F1 IGOS is identified, we'll re-identify the ADF again, inbound. O60 to go, we're looking slightly wide, but I'm on the turn that we can do. And 30 to go again, we're bloody wide. Just in my head into 
to the right to maintain the track. Alpha all over the place now. Golf Air, uh, Alpha, correction, Golf Air, uh, Alpha, Sierra Alpha, request uh, ILS team approach this time out of the beacon. Golf Air Alpha cleared, ILS approach runway 27, report Golf Air Tango Air, Ben. Report Golf Air Alpha Tango Air, Ben, cleared, approach uh, runway 27, Golf Air Alpha. Was all over the place, that. <laughs> I think my, I think my uh, planning was working, though. Yeah, it was, yeah, I think, because you turned so many times on the inbound bit, 30 degrees, it upset it, but it wasn't too bad. We're on outbound of zero uh, nine six. Golf Air Alpha is being outbound. Golf Air Alpha report to localizer established. Report localizer established, Golf Air Alpha. Okay, he's bringing the tail around to zero nine six. And we can now descend outbound down to 2,300 feet. And that's zero nine five and confirms on the tail. I'll go outbound until D eight. And Gulf Air Alpha, if possible, would like uh, one more hold after this and the NDB DME approach runway 27. Gulf Air Alpha, sorry, say again. If possible, like one more hold after this and the NDB DME approach runway 27. Gulf Air Alpha, Roger, after we go around, then climb straight ahead to altitude 3000 feet. After we go around, climb straight ahead to altitude 3000 feet, Gulf Air Alpha. Correct. This weather's fun. Oh, yes. Yeah, but it's real, though, isn't it? Yeah. Not a simulator. That's 2,300 feet and we're looking outbound, we've got two more miles to go. When we turn outbound, we can then uh, descend down to 2,000 feet. Especially when we turn back inbound. And still looking okay on our track. Approach test, flying like taxi light. Everyone's all struggling. We are indeed. Okay, they're approaching D8 now, it's a left turn inbound 265. And we can now descend down to 2,000 feet. That's 2,000, one for 2,000, any ice? Nope, no ice. That's 2,000 feet. My glass is identified. Localizer's nice and live. Altitude. Got Fair Alpha Localizer established. Fair Alpha report 4 DME. Report 4 DME, Got Fair Alpha. 
final uh, approach use your heading book. Final approach fix is at uh, five miles. Yep. TSP roll on the green. And that's D7, descent starts at D5. <laughs> that's mad, I whacked the nose down yeah, and it was still, yeah, know, and it was still climbing. Lift off the hills. Hit you right in the back, Callum. <laughs> A little bumpy, but up to well. Hey, approaching one dot above. So gear down. Drops down. Greens, watching that balloon, not doing that mistake. Okay, there's D5. We should start our descent now, which we are. Four miles, we should be at 16.30. Four miles, 16.30. Got her out at four miles. Got her out, cleared that approach from 827, wind 20012, the helicopter circuit is active. 327 cleared low approach, Golf Sierra Alpha. Three miles should be at 12.50. Okay. Got gear down, flaps. Or a cleared low approach. Nims are at 3.40. Feet to minimum, uh, 500 feet to minimum correction. Okay. 
<laughs> Fun times. Uh, 200 feet to the minimum. On glide path. Minimums. Minimums. Um, full power. Stiff right. Gear up. Flaps up. He knows the score. Okay, right dead leg, right dead engine. Full power. And right engine master, right engine alternator, right engine fuel. We're looking for blue line speed, 82. A missed approach, climb straight at altitude, 3,000 feet. Well, oh, there's no fire. And no fire, thank you. It took longer then. Take your time. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I remember last time you were saying. It wasn't saying. too long, so it was, you know. It's nice. Okay, engine T's piece in the green. Missed approach, climb runway, track, altitude 3,000 feet. You go around, you could do your go around checks. Uh, go around, so gears up, flaps up, landing light, taxi light is off. And then we're coming back onto the beacon again now. A non-standard missed approach, wouldn't it, really? Straight out. Yeah. Yeah. Close to the Gulf Sea Tango, wind ready, altitude 3,000 feet, no delay expected, NDB, DME approach, runway 27, report entering the hold. Clear to the Gulf Sea Tango, hold altitude 3,000 feet, and report entering the hold, Gulf Sea Tango. No delay, because everybody else cancelled, apparently. Yeah. He won't fit us in this morning, the one person yeah. who's going to turn up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this right to maintain runway track. I'm keeping the diamond. That's it, yeah, yeah that's so. it, yeah. You need three hands to be a pilot, don't you? Yep. The secretary. Yeah. <laughs> Vision T's P's are on the green. So what I would do is come round to your left on telling you 210 degrees. Got to approach Golf Hotel Alpha and about okay. Try and get back down a bit. Golf Hotel Alpha and about Yankee. Okay, in theory, I maintain that track, but I've already been blown off slightly. Yeah. So. From uh, private sites near Road right South Coventry, about uh, 10 to the northeast, request of standard arrival. Southern Yankee, make a standard heli arrival 2, heli north, from way 27 right, QFE 9090, hectopascals report 3 miles. Standard arrival 2, heli north, 27 at uh, 990, call. Can you hear that now? Yeah, I can now, yeah. Put no ADF in it. I think the other ADF is more accurate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was broke already. Yeah. Golf Nova Yankee, sorry, I missed the uh, QFE. 9990, Hector. 990, Golf Nova Yankee. When I turn back inbound, I shouldn't 
But should I come to 091 or should I stop in my wind corrected heading? Go for Alpha, new QNH, 993 at Fuscals. 993, go for Alpha. Okay, that's going down quick, isn't it? Sorry, steps in here. 993, hex for schools. 993 set, go for Alpha. Yeah. Oh, if we turn back to. Go for Alpha, Christian, touch and Alpha, this approach. Alpha, this approach is going to be a departure. Uh, IFR will be routing uh, via Rogby, uh, correction, Tub Zoo, and then direct Rogby, and then direct to uh, Coventry, go for Alpha. So, Alpha, is that IFR, and if so, what level? Altitude 4000 feet, go for Alpha. And yeah. IFR? AFM, Gosser Alpha. Gosser Alpha, Roger. Initially, then, after we go around, climb straight ahead to altitude 3000 feet. Initially, after we go around, climb straight at altitude 3000 feet, Gosser Alpha. Gosser Alpha, correct. Okay. Right, climb back to say VFR today, come. So, you can come right turn back to the beacon now. We were saying, so I'll turn to 091 to make sure I'm on it. Um, and then it'll be a right turn. That's no good because it takes I'll put it on CDI2. <coughs> that and then that. Okay, it's just to get rid of the. Uh, that's Still need the DME, don't you, I suppose? Yeah, on number two. Yeah, so. That's it, yeah. So now we're looking like we're approaching 60 to go. It's going to dip back 10 degrees anyway. Yeah. Oh, about there, it's going to do it, isn't it? That's it, bring your power back a little bit once your speed's built up. Uh, so that wind's going to make the uh, needle come to your right anyway. Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, keep remote. Delta Levy Yankee, clear to land, heading north, 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 Golf Alpha Romeo. Golf Alpha Romeo. Golf do you wish to cross direct to parking? Uh, yes, please, Alpha Romeo. Alpha Romeo, no known traffic, no then cross to seven taxi to Halifax. Cross to seven Halifax, Alpha Romeo. Uh, any eyes? Nope, it's still slipping by.
I think my corrected heading was a bit too much last time. Okay. High zero. Maybe slightly better. Yep. And so that's minus 20, so we're for plus 20 on the left side, and that's going to be on 90 degrees to go. And so we've got the NDB DME approach runway uh, to seven. There you go. Our approach course is 261. It's actually slightly north of the uh, runway track. Mid degrees. I uh, 10. Uh, no, uh, that was the evil thing to sas ask. Yeah, have I got it right then? Enough seven? It's five degrees. Number, it? No, number three. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did two six eight, the difference between two six one and eight. And the ground speed's eighty, so we'll go outbound for one minute twenty seconds. Uh it's a non standard mist approach, climbing altitude, uh straight altitude three thousand feet. Precision altitude uh, is 600 feet, and are set at 650. We're going to go outbound on a track of 091. And with the wind from the south, we'll be expected to have a heading of about 100 when we go outbound. Uh, initially 3,000 feet, when we clear for the approach, we'll descend down to 2,300 feet. And then if we turn back inbound to 261, we'll be to send down to 2,000 feet. Final approach fix is at 5 miles, and the ground speed is about 80, and the other speed is coming down about 450 feet per minute. Approaching our time. Am I allowed to go slightly longer outbound if I wanted to, or? Yeah. I'm going to continue us we're near the gate, yeah. There we go, so I'll start our left turn now. We're looking at that picture a bit far to the north, aren't we still? Yeah. Find out in a minute. Maybe I should have been. Do you think you're better yeah, be I think more aggressive and then get I the gate and fly yeah. to the gate? I think it worked out last time at 2-4. Okay. Hold it up. See to go, it's so looking slightly inside it. Just hold that heading there. I come back onto you one two, it's not gonna work else. This wind makes it fun, doesn't it, with 40 knot 50? Oh, yeah. yeah. So then I should have been more aggressive with my wind correction heading. It looks like that's increased, actually, as well. Yeah. Um, should have been more aggressive. If you hit the gate early, turn up the gate and do it that way around. Yeah. Do you want to try one again? Yeah. Just tell me you're going to do one more hold them. And Golf Sea Alpha is going to do one more hold and then we, uh, uh, we'll do the NDB DME one way 27. Golf Sea Alpha, firm report Golf Sea Tango outbound for uh, descent. Golf Sea Alpha, Golf Sea Tango outbound, Golf Sea Alpha. It's always here, it's always golf. And it's like saying golf, golf. Uh, oh, that's coming up now. 
So right at the top of it there. The left turn 240. If you were 40 degrees out, I'd come round onto northerly heading for a, just a few seconds before you continue your turn. Okay. I'll try and keep it at a right to one turn and uh, use keeps the rudder. That's it. I just come north for about four seconds, four or five seconds. That's it. Now these are horrendous winds, aren't they, at the moment? No, no I got 43 knots on the head. It, 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 the wind speed has increased. Yeah, it does, yeah. Well, we're getting back quickly anyway. <laughs> well, I suppose it's good to do this with such a strong wind. Yes. It means I can, I can start, start to see things going wrong and then pick them up a bit quicker, hopefully. So we're at minus 30, so we have a plus 30 on this left hand side, so it's going to be south and that's our 90 to go. I've really tried to read the theory <laughs> <laughs> lately. Can I check one? Uh, check one, sir. Two one is Mayor Barlow at the pump for runway surface inspection. Check one and uh, right holding point Alpha 2, enter runway 2, sir. Didn't start with. Oh, yeah. Just uh, two seven, thank you. Okay. It was put off by him then. Yeah. The thing and he was loud. <laughs> Don't forget engine checks. Yeah. Ice. Any ice? No, there is no ice. <laughs> Over to 50 so knots. 3 now. degrees, Steve, come on. Yeah. This is this, uh, I mean, the is dropping and then the wind's increasing. This is this big weather yeah. system that's coming yeah. in. We're going outbound probably for about 1 minute 30 seconds, if not a bit more. Okay. So the new gate is at two seven zero, so I've got minus minus thirty. Yeah. It's quite good for my motor skills doing it in such a crappy wind. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two seven zero and engine teeth and P's are all in the green. There's one minute thirty. I'll start my turn there. I'm now expecting a heading now of about one. Back inbound. We didn't even reach three miles then. Hello. 
That's the mass was correct, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. We're 60 to go, we're looking about right. We're looking like we're drifting south, but... Oh, just hold your heading now. And the wind will blow us back on. It will, yeah. That's what you forget every time. You don't believe yourself, but it will. Yeah. That's looking better, isn't it? Yeah. Still drifting, but I'm not chasing it. I'm okay. getting nearer, so. Coffee Alpha is speaking outbound. Coffee Alpha then cleared and DB, me approach from my 27, descend with the procedure, QNH 993, Hector Pascal, report base turn complete. Clear to the NDB, to me approach runway 27, uh, descent with the procedure, QNH 993, report base turn complete, Golf Sierra Alpha. Oh, Carl Brownie points, Hector Pascals. Oh, I know, yeah. Come on. It's giving me a lot of information there. Oh, I know. Uh, Tower Tracker 1, has reached 8 to runway 27, Charlie 1, um, to the Charlie Tower. Outbound track is 091, so the tail's flying 091. Tiger 1, thanks for that, then. We're descending now down to 2,300 feet. 3, 6, proceed to the station. Bridge checks, landing light, taxi light, we're all strapped in still. Runway 3, 6, proceed to the station. Tiger 1. And we're going outbound until D8. Plus approach, Golf Charlie India Lima Romeo is inbound. Golf Charlie India Lima Romeo, lost for approach. Good afternoon, QNH 993, Hector Pascals, basic service, pass your message. That's 2423, any ice? Oh, no ice. Basic service, uh, Charlie Indy Lima Romeo is a G2 from Wellsbourne to yourselves, um, just passing Breeden Hills. Should have got Manchester, uh, boy. <laughs> 700 feet, two POBs. Seas Hills. Golf Lima Romeo, standard helicopter arrival to Heli North, to seven right hand in use, secure fee, nine at nine at zero. Hectopascals, report three miles from the field. QV 990, X Pascal, uh, 27 right hand, 4 3 miles, Golfing Romeo. Your minimums are 650, which is set around to D8, and it's a left turn. Approach Avenue, Mike, Yankee Mike, Charlie Mike. Mike, Yankee Mike, Charlie Mike, lost approach, good afternoon, pass your message. Mike, Yankee Mike, Charlie Mike, 3 miles, helicopter, 3 on board, and the time Mike, uh, Charlie, Mike, then uh, basic service you have. Join right base for runway 27, QFE 990, Hect Pascals, report three miles from the field. Uh, 7.5 for D8, slightly low. Well, I've got the nose up. And it's a left turn to maintain QDM 261. Bound, crossing your track left to right is a Cadbury G2 for Heli North, reported at Breezen Hill. Golf Lima Romeo, traffic southbound from... And we can now descend down to 2,000 feet. Reported 2,500 feet. Look at the traffic, Golf Lima Romeo. I'm just 
laughing now. Uh. <laughs> Right, Callum. Just trapped himself in. Hit me head on the ceiling there. Right, <laughs> and that bell. It's, I mean, it's interesting because your body's telling you completely different to what the bloody oh, instruments yeah. are saying. So I'm just. just yeah. It's the first time I've ever had to sort of really think, trust the instrument. Yeah. Crossing Alpha Space 10 complete. Call Sir Alpha, report 4 DME. Got forward me, go for Alpha. Just increase your power a little bit. That's it. Oh, that's it. Just want to send a lot more power. Uh, that's better now. That's it. Descent starts at D5. More left down up. Yep. That's on it there, isn't it? Perfect. Now if I keep the diamond at the top, then that that's should it. keep it yeah, there. That's it. D7 for D5. Got it now, just was struggling on that turn. Doing it again, look, I'm nose down, it's still climbing. That's 6.5 for D5. I think I've come left a bit more. Yeah. Hard to even look when it's this bump, isn't it? And I know. back which is good. I'll go for two four zero again. And that's 0.3, we'll go uh, gear down now. And flap down. Down speed cool, 75. Did you call base turn complete? Okay, yeah, take report 4 miles. Oh, so. Prima, Romeo, clear to land, Halley North, wind 200 degrees, 1, 2 knots. Clear to land, Halley North, Golf Prima, Romeo. A D4, we should be at 16.30. It's settling down a bit there, isn't it? 16.30, slightly low. Here down, flaps one. Got her after four miles. Sir Alpha, London traffic heli north is a Cadbury G2, runway 27 is wet, wet, wet. Clear low approach, wind 19013 off. Runway 27, clear low approach, go for Sir Alpha. At three miles, we should be at 12.50, so I'm not doing too bad. How are you? I'm uh, trying to increase my heading to the left or to get back onto it. Three miles, twelve fifty. Oh, stop me, descent. I'm to put boot for. 
Pulls a rudder in as well. Yep. And two miles, we should be at 880. That's coming back on now, isn't it? Yep. Two miles, 880. Coming in nearly. I'm trying to go down at a thousand foot per minute. I'm trying to make small inputs. Yeah, I know, it's not always you. There we go, 2 miles 880. On the 260 there. Okay, it's just drifting away slightly. Nims are at 650. That needle's lying to you. Yeah. Yeah. you got to follow the needle, so... Minimums. Minimum is full power. That's it. Try not to go below your minimums. Yeah. I was trying not to. And that's... That's it. Pitch up. Two. Two. Right. Yeah. Gear up. Up's up. Go for Alpha's getting around. Sure, Alpha. Okay, gradually increase the power to the right engine if you want. Sure. Just mention three miles for it. Right, Charlie, might report final runway 27. Report final one runway 27, right, Charlie. The P's in the green, maintaining runway track, climbing altitude 3000. Okay, good teeth and peas, power is fat.